Do you have brown patches in your lawn? Areas where your lawn is thinning out and no matter what you've tried, you just can't seem to get the grass to grow and fill in in those areas. Well, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through some potential reasons for this and um, just tell you some things you can do to hopefully prevent and resolve this issue. Stay tuned. Well, as you can tell from the title, this video is going to be all about grubs. I um, want to learn a little bit more about what grubs are, how they get in your lawn, talk about some of the damages that they can do. But most of all, I want to talk about some steps that you can take to prevent the bugs from getting in your lawn and doing some serious damage to your lawn. So what are grubs? So grubs are little insects. They are actually larvae and they are the pre-stages of the beetles. They live underground and they are so destructive because they actually are underground and they are feeding on roots, roots of plants uh, and more specifically the roots of your lawn. So to learn more about how to effectively treat for grubs, what we want to do is learn about their life cycle, the stages that these grubs and beetles undergo so that we can target and find out the most effective time and method to treat for them. So I'm not sure how many of you saw my winter update video I did a few weeks ago, but in that video, I actually talked about how I discovered I had grubs. It was last fall around, I guess, September or October. And um, I would wake up in the morning and specifically in my backyard, I will find these tiny holes all over my my backyard. It was as if something was was back there digging up my yard. And um, I actually found out through my ring camera that the holes were made by armadillos and the armadillos was, of course, digging for grubs. So I was very upset, you know, trying to kill the armadillo and catch it. But, you know, I, I later became very thankful that I actually found out what they were digging for, which was, in fact, the grubs so that I can treat the source of the issue. So definitely go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it, because I talked about how I was able to repair the holes so that I can prepare my grass for the next growing season. But let's get back to understanding the life cycle of these grubs so that we can figure out the way to treat them most effectively. So like I said earlier in the video, grubs are nothing but pre-stage beetles, so they are beetles in the earliest stage of their life. As you can see from this chart here, the beetles usually emerge out of the larva stage during the month of June and July. And I actually think this is where the name June bug comes from. But you'll notice here that there is a calendar cycle to their development. So they emerge out of the grass during the month of June and July, and that's when they are usually most active. Um, you may even be able to spot them in your lawn, uh, flying around, and they are in that mating season when they are most active, mating and laying eggs in your lawn. So as you can see here from this second chart, there are two main times of the year when the grubs are actively feeding at the root zone of your lawn. And those times of the year are basically in April, May and August through September. So basically in the spring and the fall. So, of course, I treated my lawn in September of last year when I first discovered the issue, but it's now late March in Georgia, and I've actually just done another treatment for the uh, spring feeding season. And I've read somewhere that some people don't even treat in the spring because the root is growing so actively and vigorously that it really doesn't make a difference. But again, just seeing the damage or the potential damage that these things can do 
I didn't want to take any chances. I'm going to treat every opportunity I get a chance to. So the product that I'm using is this Bio Advanced 24 Hour Grub Killer Plus. I actually found it on Amazon because for whatever reason, uh, Home Depot and Lowe's did not have it in stock. But I ordered it from Amazon. It came within a couple of days and I was able to use it right away. So the product itself is uh, very easy to apply. The instructions are very straightforward. Um, I like it because there's no odor or anything. It's just very, very easy to apply. But definitely make sure that you read the instruction label and follow the uh, guidelines for how to apply and how much to apply. The one thing that I can say that uh, the, is most important is that when you are applying this, you want to make sure that you are applying it, if possible, before you get some rain, because this application or this substance has to be watered in. So um, unless you are oh, unless you don't mind watering in your lawn after applying, it's probably best to to just apply maybe um, a day or two before you know that you're going to get some rain. Now, I will say there are some other off the shelf products that you can get where the label says that it kills grubs, but you want to be very, very careful with those. So this spectracide version here, for instance, has grubs in it, but I am told that um, it doesn't actually kill the grubs it, when they are underground. Um, and I actually have firsthand experience with that because last year when I was treating for the first time, I noticed that after two or three application of the spectracide, the grubs didn't actually die. And the reason that I knew that was night after night, I kept on seeing the armadillos coming back, digging for more grubs. So if you know that you have grubs in your lawn or you are seeing those damages in the early spring or late fall, you definitely want to make sure that you are using the right product that is going to penetrate the ground and kill the grubs. Um, I think I'm actually going to use that spectracide in June and July when the beetles are emerging from the ground. But that's going to do it for the end of this video. Thank you for watching. And again, my goal here is just to create useful content and give you some tips, some advice that you can use in helping you to manage your own lawn. Um, and again, it's not very hard. It's just really knowing what to do, knowing when to do it. Um, and you'll definitely start seeing the results. So if you have any questions about anything in this video, definitely drop me a comment or ask your question down in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer it as soon as I can get to it. But uh, thank you for watching. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel because I'm going to try to do a lot more videos. I have a scalping video that's coming up next. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe. Thank you.